battle tonight, Steve. Let me ask, are we in a guard-centric league right now? I think we are, Kevin. I mean, obviously, it was more balanced back in the day, guards and bigs. But with the three-point shot, it has really made this a guard league. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Jeremy Lamb, Anthony out there with Hernan Gomez. Then there's Smart, and it's Holiday in at the point. Conley gets the bucket. Well, this is where Conley operates best naturally, in the paint, creating for others or himself. From seven, Anthony can't hit. And it's Utah's ball. Outside Conley. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal Can you look at Mike Conley? Just a steady floor general and deadly accurate as a shooter. And Greg, I'm not sure he gets enough credit for how he competes on the defensive side. At 6'1", he's given up size on a nightly basis. But he won't let you pick on him. He gets after you. The fourth pick in the 2011 draft, it took getting stronger and improving the shot to make Conley one of the better all-around guards in the game. And after a down season in 2020, with some questioning if he was over the hill, Greg Mike Conley came roaring back last season. And the first player ever to make his All-Star debut that far into his career. It had to feel something like redemption. And I tell you, he's not done yet. Has a nice new contract to prove it. And slam dunk by Gobert. That's a signature move by Gobert. The length allows him to do what others can't. From 11 feet away, second chance shot. Conley got a hand on it. You know what, though? They keep calling his number despite the difficult quarter he's had. Anthony finds Lamb. Ball's knocked loose. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. And the jam by Rudy Gay. Few players in the league do a better job of finding the open man than Mike Conley. Without a section, wants a teacher. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. He's worried about the explosiveness of Donovan Mitchell. The coach said Mitchell is too fast for bigger players to guard, and he overwhelms smaller players with his strength. So that means you're going to have to send more players at him whenever it's possible. Kevin? Thanks so much, David. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. To end the run. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his point. It's going to be on Rudy Gay. Clearly a foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. For the First free throw is good. At the line for two. And both free throws good for Anthony. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Conley dishes to Mitchell. Back to Conley. On the wing, Engel. Covered by Lamb. Here's Gobert. Second chance effort, and that's two points on the lead. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Holiday, the pass to Smart. That three off the mark. Jazz leading by eight. Mitchell in the corner, down low, and slam dunk by Gobert. Rudy Gobert not content to just take the foul, use his size to follow through for the bucket. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Utah. Rudy Gobert. 
That's the line for one. For those teams, Greg, that had head coaching changes, how long does it take to fully implement a new system? Well, it, it typically takes a full season, and it also depends just on how complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Now here's Lamb. Five on the clock over Ingles. No good from Lamb. Wow, that's one you just kind of assume is going in. Tough luck. Bobbed up there for Mitchell. Taken away by Holiday. And here they come. Back to Herning Gomez. Misses that one. He's 0 for 1 from the floor. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That's his first. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. Smart against Mitchell. Over smart. That one rolling around and rims out. Incredible defender. Smart can provide help as well as stick you one-on-one. -on -one. And smart. yes, it's good. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Here's Mitchell. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. To the inside. Gobert. Right. And slam dunk that by Gobert. Good. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. And it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. Now here's Smart. Here's Holiday. Gobert with the block. The wingspan of Gobert is huge, and he uses it so well to deny shooters. Anthony with the block. They recover it. Shots good by Mitchell. The second chance points a huge issue right now. They're getting steamrolled inside. Hey, fam, who wants a free teacher? Make some noise. Fam, your jazz dancer. A different look for Utah. White side's checked in for game. Bogdanovich comes in for Joe Ingles, and it's Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Now here's Payne to the right side. Here's Herter. Payne passes to Hernan Gomez. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got his seventh rebound here tonight. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Now, here's Clarkson. Pass to Mitchell. Four on the shot clock. Traps in the tray. Mitchell's got a second bucket tonight. And, and loving the hustle here early. I mean, they struck first on the offensive glass. And, and they call him Spider because of that long wingspan. 6'10 at present, but standing 6'1. Mitchell needs that to compete defensively at that shooting guard position. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Utah. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, I think they prepared to face more defensive pressure, and that one didn't happen, and boy, they just rolled. They came in focused and ready to play, and despite facing little resistance, they never pulled back. And we know what Mitchell can do offensively, but Greg, how do you evaluate his defensive game? And Kevin, without question, there's room for improvement. I'd say he's probably below average, but he has the tools that if he tightens up that part of his game, look out. Here's Herter. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. For three, and it's Jordan Clarkson with the three. Already, they piled up eight second-chance points. Herter passes to Hernan Gomez. To the paint. Here's Toppin. Doesn't go for him. Gobert with the defensive effort. Clarkson outside. Here's Whiteside. 
Danny battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Man passes to Hernan Gomez. Here's Payne to the left wing. Pass to Toppin. Trying to find Hernan Gomez to do him. Passes to Toppin. Gobert with the block. And they get it back. White side, light off his feet. Plus, he can block your shot with either hand. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. Here's the pass to Payne. Here's Mann. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Jazz passing it around. Clarkson goes in. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Clarkson. Clarkson's got five points so far. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Man passes to Payne over Mitchell. And that one hits back iron. Over Payne. And it's Mitchell missing. And so it's the Utah Jam in complete command. Their lead at 28 points going into the break. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Just tuning in. We've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Jams. It looks like they're ready to run today, fellas. They keep getting out on the break whenever they can. Yeah, also, though, they've done a good job of pounding the offensive glass for second chance points. So it's the visitors now. O'Neal is out there with Rudy Gay. Then it's Eric Pascal. Then it's Conley, and it's Ingles in at the two guard. That's the five on the floor for the Jams. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Rebound by Anthony. Now, here's Toppin. He's covered closely. Deflects the pass. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Pascal. It's a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Rudy Gobert may get overlooked, but his coach understands what he means to the Utah Jazz. Quinn Snyder says his presence on the floor gives us a chance. He's our most important player as far as how he anchors our team. He's the foundation. And Kevin, the way they win games, that's saying something. He is a defensive player of the year multiple times. Phenomenal player. Thanks, D.A. So it's the Jazz now. Pass to Pascal. Driving inside. And plan dunk by Pascal. A little undersized at the four, but he can get off the ground. Pass to Holiday. Anthony right side. The kick out to Holiday. Passes it to Mann. Back to Holiday. Six to shoot. And there's the pass to Mann. The rebound by the Jams. Conley is surveying the D. Pass to O'Neal. And here is Conley. Jacks up a three. And the jam by Rudy Gay. I like Rudy Gay on that play, being very aggressive and showing people how to get it done. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Conley against Holiday. Outside Conley. And good that time. Conley's got six points and they've repeatedly broke inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Curry kicks to Holland. Pass to Mann. And it's Gay with the rebound. 
Mann's gone just one of five from the field. And the foul on Drew Holiday. That'll be his second foul of the game. Another foul will give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. Jeremy Lamb. Marcus Smart. Here's Ingles. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Inside. Takes it from 10. Kept alive. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Top in with it. Conley picks him up. Outside for Curry. To the middle. It's tipped. Stolen by Michael Conley. In transition. Here come the Jazz. And that one's good by game. Quick feet, quick hands of Conley, forcing the turnover and getting them out on the brink. Passes it to Toppin. After two Toppin. misses to start Toppin. the game, he's on the board with that shot made. Seth Curry. And so it's Ingles with it. He brings it up for Utah. Only given up six here in this quarter. Outside Conley. And that one drops for him. Conley's got his third basket of the night. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. And the latest wrinkle in Seth Curry's game, creating for others with consistency. And he's taking time with his reads, letting the defense commit, then making his move. All part of that maturation process. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Stolen by Smart. Curry passes to Toppin. And Toppin throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Conley gets the bucket. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Anthony finds Smart. Outside for Curry. Off target with his three. Curry's gone one of three from the field here. And the pass to Pascal. Kicks it out to Gay. Pascal with a screen for Conley. Misses from short range. Over in the corner, Lamb. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Lamb's got himself on the board with three there. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that Utah, possession Utah. there, making the pass. Nice assist. Feature time! All right, look who's coming out of the court. Come on, get back and go ahead, Dancer. Ends up going with the new group. Crosses over the drive by Mitchell. He takes it up and lays it in. Mitchell's got ten points. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Smart kicks to Hernan Gomez. Here's Payne. They grab their own miss. And out of bounds as Utah gains possession. And now we'll look at the upcoming schedule for the Jams. On Tuesday, they'll head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. And then on Thursday, they'll be matching up with Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns. Mitchell looking it over. Pass to Clarkson. It's deflected. When you watch Kevin Herter, he plays hard at the defensive end. That was an effort block. Fires the three. 
sinks the three-pointer. Herder has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And so many teams looking to space the floor. Greg, how many non-shooters can you play and, and still have a good offense? Well, I, I think most teams go four out, meaning you got to have at least four guys that are a threat on the perimeter keeping a vertical spacer at that dunker spot. But if your dunker can also shoot, man, that puts even more pressure on the defense. Smart misses. And, and the call will foul. be against Hernan Gomez. Phillips, turned out That's Gomez. foul number two for him. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. Smart's gone one of three shooting so far. There's 138 left in the first half. On the wing, Mitchell. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Payne finds Hernan Gomez. And here's Payne. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Outside, smart. Back to Hernan Gomez. Shot clock at six. Good on the three-point shot. Payne's got his first three points of the game. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Mitchell outside. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. And they'll get another chance. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. You know, fouling Whiteside in there used to be a good strategy. Not anymore. He's improved his free throw shooting quite a bit. First trip to the line for him here. Two shots. That one is off. And he misses the second one as well, so he is 0 for 2 that time. Whiteside has to keep working on his free throw shooting. Teams have no problem putting him at the line. Passes it to Mann. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Three points. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Oh, great ball movement there. Clarkson taking his time here. And again, unable to change momentum here. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. The shot by Holiday, no good. Jazz leading by 22. Here's Mitchell. The Jazz again can't hit it. Holiday, the pass to Hernan Gomez. To the left side wing. Here's Mann. And it's off from three-point range. And so it's the Utah Jazz. Cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, guys. With Quinn Snyder, with Rudy Gobert a mainstay for your team, what is he giving you? Well, he's been so consistent. He's offensive rebounding, just keeping plays alive, and a little bit of everything. He's playing well. And that means good things for your squad, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. Hello, everybody. Before getting into the first half recap, let's check in on the injured players around the NBA. Someone who's had injury issues on and off the court. Paul is the conductor, the orchestrator for this team. The way he draws defensive attention, just a completely different dynamic. And taking a glance now at this game, right now it's a big time lead for the Utah Jazz. When you can generate second chance points the way they have, you should have the lead. It's been a massacre on the offensive glass. They're running multiple guys to the window, showing great effort and toughness. And that is it for halftime, folks. It is back to Kevin Harlan and the crew for the second half. And 
there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We're seeing a tremendous game from Mike Conley. Definitely been challenging the defense here early on, not settling for anything outside. He's been very effective on the move, forcing the action, getting to his spots, and finishing plays. The visitors with the ball. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. We've got Herman Gomez. Anthony is out there with Jeremy Lamb. Then there's Smart, and it's Holiday in at the point. 16 feet away. Utah with the rebound. Conley's got his fourth rebound in this one. Lamb against Mitchell. Got a piece of it. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. by Smart. Holiday with it. Conley picks him up. Anthony kicks to Hernan Gomez. Misses the three. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. And when the score is as lopsided as it is, and you can see they smell blood in the water, and the top man is going for the jugger. And one thing about Donovan Mitchell, Steve, he is always learning, always evolving. Yes, he is, Kevin. Devours film, seeks advice from other star players, and he's not afraid to get out of his comfort zone. He has ambition for greatness. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. Smart dishes to land. Over Mitchell. No good from Lamb. One thing we've seen from these guys is excellent. No doubt about it. It's fun to watch the way they're operating as a team right now. They are all in sync. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Utah Jazz last season was elite at both ends of the floor. Sixth man of the year winner Jordan Clarkson says, the three things we've been doing well are playing fast, sharing the basketball, and defense. We're playing a fun style of basketball and just keep racking up the wins. Guys, they are fun to watch and a handful. D.A. thanks. Obi Toppins checked in for Hernan Gomez. Mitchell's gone an outstanding three of four from three-point territory. To stop the run, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Yeah, easy call. That's his first personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting for the away team, Obi Toppin. Taking two shots. Free throw is good by Toppin. He's perfect from the line this time. And it's Mitchell with the ball for the jam. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Here's Conley. No good from 11 feet. It's Carmelo Anthony on the way. Covered by Mitchell. And so the ball out of bounds. Gobert touched it last. the away team. And here's Anthony from the arc. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Ingles can't get it to go. Holiday finds Anthony. Outside, Lamb. Inside, here's Smart. And the layup's good off the glass. Good. For a guy who's still working on his range, love to see Smart attacking on the interior. The pass to Gobert. Mitchell against Smart. 
And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Utah shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And they had a lot of success a season ago as a team, hitting about 80% of their free throws. Free throw dropped for Mitchell. Strong, athletic, aggressive. Mitchell puts maximum pressure on the defense every night. Eric Paschal, he's checked in for the Jazz. O'Neal comes in for Joe Ingles. He hits both from the strike. So it's the visitors now. Smart passes to Anthony. Out to Lamb. The tray. Utah with the rebound. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Marcus. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's his first, first, That's his first foul. Second An outstanding foul. defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Now, here's Pascal. Bangs on the trifecta. Gay's got nine. Rudy Gay knocked that one down. His three-point shot is getting better and better. Here's Anthony, and the layup is good. And even if you risk a foul, the D has to play him tougher when he gets it that deep. And if you don't, they keep finding the matchup every time up the floor. Here's Conley. He's got 10. There's the foul. It's on Jeremy Lamb. And that'll be his third foul so far. Personal foul. Third team foul. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. O'Neal from long range. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got four assists in the game. Holiday, the pass to Toppin. And Holiday kicks to Smart. Back to Holiday. A three. He's off on that one. Now the Jazz take it the other way. Mitchell finds Conley. O'Neal is screen on Holiday. Back to Mitchell. Let's the three fly. Carmelo Anthony grabs the board. Holiday, the pass to Anthony. The kick out to Holiday. Outside, smart. O'Neal against Holiday. Lock at six. Pass to Carmelo. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second personal foul. Wow, wow. He second got whacked on foul. that, which shouldn't be much debate there. At the line, and a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Jazz. I mean, a fantastic game for them in open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And also, their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure effort and hustle. Looking at who's out there now for the Jazz. Whiteside's checked in for Eric Paschal. Bogdanovich comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's Clarkson in for Mike Conley. Greg, last season, we saw a lot of opinions about the play-in tournament, especially from players. Where did you fall on that thing? Well, I'm going to put on my fan hat right now, Kevin. And I thought it was exciting. I mean, seeing the stakes get raised for those teams that are right on the edge. I think it brings more interest for teams. But if I was still playing, I probably wouldn't like it if I had locked up the playoffs and still had to go play to earn a berth. Here's Herder following the basket by Donovan Mitchell. Here's Curry with the three. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got his third assist on the night. O'Neal kicks to Mitchell. And it's Bogdanovich in the corner. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And at the charity stripe a season ago, he didn't miss many, 90% on the year. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. And Steve, a second rounder back in the 2014 draft out of Missouri, Jordan Clarkson with a productive NBA career. Yes, Kevin, and he's always been a bucket. What has changed is the shot selection. A lot more threes and terrific free throw shooting, making him a great bench weapon. O'Neal misses. 
There was a mix up defensively. Left him all alone. He just couldn't hit it. Driving in, and Whiteside sends it back. Bogdanovich left side. Herman Gomez grabs the miss. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Now, here is O'Neal, Mitchell, and the later fall. Mitchell's got 16 here in the second half. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Here's Mann. Rebounded by the Jazz. Whiteside's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Clarkson goes in. And he jams it with authority. And guys, you don't think this fella can do some major damage if he gets an opening to the rim. GA, they just learned that lesson the hard way. They better put a little bit more effort into their D the next time down. <laughs> The defense has to feel real embarrassed right now. They totally got school on that highlight reel play. 127 left to play here in the third. Payne finds Hernan Gomez. Over white side. Walked again. And if you're looking for the main reason that they're trailing in this game, well, look no further than his shooting. I mean, he has hit exactly 0% of his shots. Now, here's Bogdanovich. Mitchell with it. Just five on the clock. Oh, and the dunk by Mitchell. I got a feeling Donovan Mitchell will be watching this highlight over and over and over. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Curry on the wing. Kicks to paint. Pass to Hernan Gomez, outside Curry. No good, they had a chance to end the run there. Nice ball movement by Utah. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. Back to Payne. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Here's Mann, he's covered by Whiteside. And it's blocked by Whiteside. Here's O'Neal. And here's Mitchell from the arc. No good that time. Donovan Mitchell firing on all the cylinders for Utah. He's been a major threat from three-point range. Got two of them to fall in that quarter. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. So with Conley sitting on the bench, here's the five for Quinn Snyder right now. We've got Butler. Joe Ingles is out there with Eric Pascal. And it's Oni in at the shooting guard. Trying to take advantage of soft defense. He might have gotten over eager. Feeds to top it. He dishes it to Snell. Got a piece of it. He had stolen by Ingles. Fires for three. Good on the triple. Ingles has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. This was obviously a focal point coming out of the break. Looks smart when the shots are going down. Neto, the pass to Snell. Back to Neto. Six on the shot clock. 18 feet out. Got a piece of it. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Yeah, 
this could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Pasco kicks to Ingles, out to the right wing. Here's Oni. Now the pass to Pasco. And there's a whistle. That goes on Neto. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, clearly a foul of frustration right there. Marcus Smart's checked in for pain. Marcus Smart. Now, Ingles. Outside, Butler. Shot clock at six. It's tipped. Moves back up. Misses off the right iron. And back in the day, Greg, Allen Iverson got criticized for devaluing practice. Now, we've got healthy players sitting out of games. Has load management gone too far, you think? Not a practice, but a game. We got guys missing games, Kevin. There's no doubt about it. But I, honestly, I'm really all for load management in this regard. If I owned a team and I had to invest $200 million in a player, I want to do everything I can to prolong my investment. And the reality is we've got our stars playing at unprecedented lifts at higher levels later in their career. So I'm all for doing what we can to prolong the careers of our very best player. Now, here's Butler. He kicks it to Ingles. Butler passes it to Oni. And the Jazz, another three. And certainly, they are not hesitating, letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Neto surveying the floor. Over Butler. Neto can't get it to go. Here's the Jazz with the ball. They've got an 8-0 run. The shot by Oni, no good. Oni's gone 1-3 on the night. Smart kicks to Neto. To the inside. Toppin' good. And, and I love the fact that he didn't have to slow down or adjust there. The pass was just timed perfectly. Butler passes to Azabuki. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Bialitsa. Topping with it. Back to Neto. Pass to Snell. Smart on the wing. Puts up a three. Snell, that's good. Yeah, and they are living and dying from beyond the arc since halftime. It's a different look than what we saw in the first half. Here's Azabuk. Butler, count the bucket, coming off a perfectly placed assist. Butler's got his first two points of the night. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. So it's Utah now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Sinks the triple. Catching fire. When you have a shooter like Ingles, it's a great play to run. Ingles has gone a perfect two of two from the arc. Passes it to Bialica. Here's Neto. Launches a three. Bialica inside. Defended by Pascal. And it's the Jazz's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. And the foul on Obi Toppin. That'll be his second foul of the game. The dynamic Greg between players and officials is always interesting. With some players saying they think there's a lot of room for improvement. What do you think? Well, we do see players getting teed up for simply making their case. And, and really, the guys just want to play. So, yeah, you, you love to see a little bit more harmony out on the floor and Maybe we need to get those two groups together in the offseason to, to break bread and try to smooth over that relationship. Now, here's Toppin. Lamb, good. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and finish. And the foul on Marcus Smart. That's foul number two for him. For the Jazz, O'Neal comes in for Rudy Gay. And it's Mitchell Coming in for Joe Ingles. The floor for the away team. <laughs> and 
and Gobert kicks to O'Neal. From past the arc, rebounded by Anthony. Anthony's got his fourth rebound in this one. Curry finds Anthony, Conley with it, and Holiday picks him up defensively. His three-pointer's off the mark. Okay, that's frustrating. You work hard to get these open looks. You know he liked that one back. Attack mode right there. He plays bigger than his size. The pass to Pascal. Pascal with a screen on Lamb. Here's Conley. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Jeremy Lamb. For a number of seasons, offensive output, Greg, has been on the rise, as we've seen. But last year, it went to a whole different level. I mean, how about two years ago with, with Dallas? They had the greatest offensive season since all the way back in 1973, averaging over 116 points per 100 possessions. Get this, last year, seven teams beat that record. Payne, he's checked in for Drew Holiday. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. Now here's Payne. The dish now to Anthony. Pass to Hernan Gomez. From deep. The rebound by the Jams. Pascal's got four rebounds in this game. Mitchell with it. Now Anthony defending. Offensive rebound. Kicks it out to Mitchell. Two minutes remaining. Trains the three-pointer. Mitchell's got 31. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points in chunks. Now here's Anthony. On the wing, Lamb. Back to Payne. Six to shoot. Curry against Mitchell. From deep. No good from Lamb. On offense, here are the Jets. They're on an 18-7 run. Now here's Conley. Payne covering. Conley into the lane. It's good. Conley's got four points in the quarter. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it. Just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for the Jazz. You don't see this kind of a blowout often, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And during the long NBA season, each contest important here tonight. Tonight's win will give them four on the season. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Donovan Mitchell. Shouldering the load for them all night offensively. He came in focused, ready to go, and he delivered. An impressive job by the players, coaches, and don't discount the impact of these fans. They gave the team tremendous energy tonight. The fans were fantastic. It was a true home court advantage. Now here's Curry. Back to Lamb from downtown. And Curry, the bucket on the assist from Jeremy Lamb. 12 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Conley. And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when, when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps. And the execution was flawless. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much, Rudy. Donovan Mitchell huge, of course, tonight. How great is it to have him on your side? Uh, it's great. You know, it's great. He's, uh, you know, he's a great teammate, he's a great player, and uh, you know we're going to need him if you want to win the championship. So, you know, it's, it's a big part of what we do. And he was big tonight, man. Congrats. Back to you guys. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, 
This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. As we present our player of the game, Donovan Mitchell.